Welcome to episode 5 of Disney Foods at Home, where I make foods from Disney Parks at home. Today we're making a retired menu item. It used to be served at the Friars Nook and Magic Kingdom. It's the pot roast mac and cheese, and it used to be one of my top favorite items in the Magic Kingdom. My goal going into this recipe was to make the creamiest non-bake mac and cheese that I could possibly make. I feel like that's what I love most about Disney mac and cheese. Even though it's the same mac and cheese that you can find all over Disney property, I just love it so much. As far as the pot roast goes, I just found this at Aldi. It came with everything you need, the vegetables, the seasoning, and the meat. I dumped everything into my slow cooker and cooked it for about 8 hours. I didn't add anything to it, so. So this was just simply carrots, potatoes, onion, the meat, and then the seasoning, and it all came in a package together. The real magic is in the mac and cheese, so I started with some butter, got that melted. In another pot, I got some water boiling. I have absolutely no idea why I thought this pot would be big enough to cook an entire box of pasta, but this is what we went with. To be fair, I didn't think I'd need a whole box, but then once I made the sauce, I realized, yeah, this is going to be plenty of sauce, I'm going to need the whole box. So that's what I did. After the butter melted, it was time to add in some flour, and I think we were making a roux here, I can't be sure, but I'm pretty sure. I forgot to mention that I'm following a recipe from the unofficial Disney Parks cookbook. It was a bacon mac and cheese hot dog recipe, but I'm just making the mac and cheese from that recipe. I went with the large elbow noodles, I feel like that's what's in the mac and cheese in Disney World, so that's what we went with. Okay, back to our mac and cheese sauce situation. We got the butter and the flour mixed together. Added in some half and half. I was just gonna do milk and I was just gonna do heavy whipping cream, but I think this recipe said to add bowls, so I figured I had this on hand, I just went with that. Then I added in an entire bag of shredded cheese. I hear that the cheese melts better if you shred it yourself. I had no problems with it melting, just like this. Then I added in just a little bit of Velveeta because I felt like that would make it creamier and like that fake cheese that I was really wanting. I don't regret it at all. This sauce came out so perfect. It was super heavy, makes your stomach hurt a little bit, but it was worth it. Just like if you got it at Disney, right? So once the pasta was cooked, I just added it in, mixed it all together, plated it, added my pot roast on top with a little bit of parsley sprinkled just for some, you know, added effect. And here we go for the taste test. A little bit of everything on the fork. And I gotta tell you, it was so good. It wasn't exact, it was so close though. That's it for today's recipe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.